Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute jack-o'-lantern with the painted papers that we made last time. Remember, we used uh, the primary colors to make the secondary colors, which are green and orange and purple. And we're going to be using those papers that we painted to make our jack-o'-lanterns. Now we're going to use all different kinds of shapes to make our jack-o'-lantern faces, and you can really be creative with this. You can use all different types of shapes. You could make a baby pumpkin if you have some extra orange. You could make um, your pumpkins have all different expressions. They might be happy, sad, scared, silly, all different things. We're going to begin with our orange paper. And instead of drawing our pumpkin shape on the front, on the painted side, we're going to flip it over and draw it on the back. It doesn't matter if your name is on there, if there's paint pieces on there, it doesn't matter. You're going to take your pencil and you're going to be drawing a large circle. Now, I know when I've looked at real pumpkins, I've never seen a pumpkin that's perfectly round. So we don't need to worry about it being a perfect circle. But it's never a bad idea to take your finger first and plan out about how large you want your pumpkin to be. We don't want little pumpkins for this because we want plenty of space to do the fun face on them. So we want to start with a large circle. Once you're sure what you want to do, you're going to make a large circle with your pencil. If you mess up and do one too small at first, you don't even need to erase. You just want to make a bigger one because we're drawing on the back. This will not show. Once you have your large circle, you're going to be using your scissors. Remember, our thumb goes in the small hole. Our fingers go in the larger hole. Our thumb goes on top. And we open and close and cut right around on our circle to make our pumpkin. Once we have made the pumpkin, we're going to get out our glue sticks. And, we are, and you have a piece of black paper at your table. You're going to put the glue stick on the back of your pumpkin shape. Remember, you just need to roll it up a little bit. Put some glue all the way around the edges, a little in the center, and then put your pumpkin right down on your black paper. Next, we need to make a face for our pumpkin. So for the face, we're going to be using the purple paper, and we're also going to be using some of the shapes that are already cut out in the bin on your table. First of all, for the mouth. Again, instead of drawing on the purple side, I'm going to draw on the other side. It doesn't matter. And maybe I could make, you could make a big oval mouth if you wanted um, a pumpkin's mouth sort of like this shape. Um, if you decide you don't want that and you'd rather have a big smiling mouth, you could do that. I don't even have to erase my original one. I can just do another one and maybe I'll make a big smiling mouth like that right along the top and I'm going to use my scissors again and I'm going to cut right on that line and the nice thing about drawing on the back of the paper is if I went out of the lines a little with my scissors it doesn't matter because I'm going to turn it over again I'm going to put the glue on this it's always best to put the glue on the smaller thing instead of putting the glue right on the pumpkin this way I know I get it right where it needs to go on the back of the mouth and I can stick that down to make some teeth for my mouth, I have these long strips of white paper. You can cut some little pieces like this, or you could cut some triangles if you'd like sharp, pointy teeth, whatever kinds of shapes you would like. And again, you're going to put a little bit of glue on the back, and you can stick them right on to make your pumpkin's teeth. You could put some at the top. You could put, maybe I'll put one at the bottom as well. Then. I need to make a nose. Now you can make pumpkin noses all different shapes. I'm going to use that same purple paper. I'm going to turn it over. You can draw a shape first, a circle, a triangle, a square, or you could even just free cut a shape, which is kind of a fun way to do it. I'm going to make a triangle nose for my pumpkin. Put a little glue on the back Oops, and stick it down. Then for my eyes, to make these eyes really stand out, I'm going to choose a few shapes from my bin first. So I'm going to choose these two circles. And I'm going to glue those down first for my eyes. And then I'm going to cut some smaller shapes out of my purple paper to put inside. 
Now, anytime I want two shapes that are exactly the same size, a really good way to do that is to fold the paper in half first. So if I fold this paper in half, and then if I draw my shape, and if I keep it folded while I cut that shape out, I will get not one, but two of the same size. So I can now stick those right down in my eyes. Next, you must be wondering, what am I gonna do with the green paper? Well, I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna make a stem for my pumpkin and also a little bit of grass for him to rest in. A very easy way to do that is to cut a line all the way down your green paper like this. I'll cut a long skinny rectangle and then I can cut a piece off and that makes a wonderful stem. And then I can watch, I can cut several pieces like this for my grass. And then I'm going to stick those down right along the bottom. I could even overlap my pumpkin a little bit so it looks like he's sitting all comfy in the grass like that. And then when I'm finished with this, if I wanna add any other details, I might want to add some eyebrows like this pumpkin. I might want to add a little baby pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. I could use my scrap of orange right on the back. I could draw a smaller pumpkin to stick on there and you can add lots of fun details. When you're all finished, we're gonna put those on the drying rack and clean up all of your scraps before you go to free draw. Have a great time with your pumpkins.